front side body, thigh foam rolling. That sounds very odd, but here we're gonna get into the quadriceps and the adductors on both legs. This will help, I have a smaller foam roller, so I'm gonna show you obviously um, for that, so it will be one leg at a time, but you can also do this on a longer foam roller and it will allow you to um, work the adductor group of both legs at the same time. So you, I'm just gonna start on my knees. You can also take a pad and bring it in front of you, right? So always nice to uh, save yourself on that hard wood. So here I'm gonna bring my elbows onto, or my forearms rather, onto this pad here. And I'm just gonna start by going up and down the tops of the thighs, right? And now I'm gonna spin a little bit onto the outer thigh, a little bit onto that inner thigh, just all the way again, right? From the top of the kneecap to the top of the hip. Right, so that's working up and down. And here, using your arms to take some of the pressure off of the abs is always nice. You can sink down um, and roll from here. Forearm, hands down on the floor, having that do some of the work for you. Right, so going all the way up into the hips. So, now, let's start on the outside of the thigh again. You're going to, and you might need to take the foam roller and adjust it for positioning, and that's totally fine, right? So usually, um, we are not actually rolling the IT band. That's a piece of connective tissue, the uh, iliotibial band, right, that runs from the hip all the way down, actually, past the knee, right? So that's a lot of, if you run a lot or cycle a lot, we get... Uh, tend to feel tightness in the IT band. It's not actually the IT band that's tight. It's the muscles that are pulling on the IT band that will uh, make you maybe feel a little bit of pain um, laterally on the knee uh, there. And you're just gonna go up and down and when you feel something kind of gnarly, you'll roll from side to side a little bit and then coming back onto the front side of the thigh. This is going to be a really helpful tip. So again, starting just above the kneecap, okay? Right, rolling up and down, a little bit side, a little bit side to side. Seeing where you need to work. Ah, I found a spot that I need to work, so I'm going to bring my knee towards my butt and then re-extend my leg. Good. Try not to punch the shoulders together, but actually stay elevated, right? We don't want to get into that bad positioning. It's going to make our shoulders feel pretty junky, and then we'll have a lot of work when we get up there. Okay, and then rolling back, all the way up. Extend and bend, and it's going to look different on everyone. And now we're going to come to the adductor. So I like to place the foam roller the long way and you're gonna bring your legs into kind of a frog position or if you're doing one leg at a time as I am, right? So you can see, no you can't, I have my knee out to the side and I'm going to lay down on the foam roller so that way my shin is running parallel like in the long way. And then you're going to roll from the inside of the knee all the way up to the groin. Again, anywhere you feel a knot, you're going to bring your heel down to the floor and then spin it up towards the ceiling, keeping that pressure down, right? So breathe into it and let that release on its own. Spend as much time there as you need to. And after you do that, you'll move on to the other 